Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be learning what parallel transitions are and how to configure them in a Blueprint process. So let's get started. When a process must fulfill multiple transitions to pass from one stage to another, it's known as a parallel transition. Consider the example of an order processing cycle. In this example, five activities must be executed for the order to move from the ordered to the process stage. For such requirements, we can configure the parallel transition and add multiple transitions between two stages. So let's dive into the demo. Here we have a sample app with an orders form to receive orders from customers. First, let's create the blueprint and add a parallel transition based on this form. Go to the Editor's Workflow section. Now select the Blueprint Workflow type and click New Blueprint to create a new process. Now we need to choose the form based on which we want to make the blueprint. In this case, it's the New Order form. Next, give a name and proceed to create the blueprint. Now let's start by adding the stages in the Order to Delivery process. Hit Add Stages and add the stage Ordered. And the stage has been created. Now, let's repeat this process to add the remaining stages. Processed, shipped, and delivered. Just drag and drop the stages to the builder based on the process flow. Then connect the ordered and processed stage by adding a transition. Let's name the transition Quantity Checked. For this particular process, we need a parallel transition. Apart from Quantity Checked, we need to add more transitions, such as Picked, Quality Checked, Packed, and Labeled. Just mouse over the transition where you want a parallel setup and click the flowchart icon. Then proceed to add a parallel transition from the pop-up. A branch will be created every time you hit the Add button. Let's create four branches and name them Picked, Quality Checked, Packed, and Labeled. And we've successfully created a parallel transition. Now each order must go through these five activities to move from the ordered to the process stage. Then quickly connect the remaining stages by adding a transition and save the blueprint. Now let's access the application and add a sample record to the new order form. On accessing the report, the blueprint stage will show as ordered. The detail view will list all the transitions that we created, and the transitions that appear here will be based on ownership and criteria. Whenever a transition is executed, there will be a green checkmark next to its name. However, the order still shows the ordered stage. Now, let's trigger the remaining transitions. After all the transitions get executed, you can see that the stage has changed from ordered to processed. That's how a parallel transition works. Parallel transitions can be used in many other processes, such as claim settlement, candidate recruitment, IT asset purchase, and much more. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.